Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough! Let's go to the right side of town and see what awaits us. Oh jeez! Oops, pardon me, sucker! Hey, what's your beef, pal? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Hmm, what's up? Mario, you gotta wake up! Like, I just stole half your coins! I've been mugged! No! That is so lame. Ah, oh, I hate this town. You know what? I'm gonna get my coins back. The guy that I'm looking for is in this back alley, and he's always in this back alley. Oh, I can't believe I got mugged him. No, you're not the guy I'm looking for. Dang, yesterday I blew through 100 coins of that parlor. You believe that? But not next time, man. I'm coming back a winner. The odds favor me now. Sure. Trust the casino, even though the odds are never in your favor. Anyway, inside this house, look who it is. Give me back my coins! Oops! Uh, fancy meeting you here. <laughs> uh, you're pretty dang persistent, buddy. <laughs> what a pain. Fine, fine. Okay, you got me. I'll give you your coins back. Here. Thank you! All right, everything is back in order. What do you have to say for yourself? Let me give you a news flash. Even the innocent looking people in this town are thieves. So don't come grumbling to me about losing a little pocket change. Okay, buddy? So I, I guess that's his word of advice. Anyway, you might be see a little flashy, flashy thing right there behind the bed. It's a star piece. There are 100 of these in the game and I intend on getting each and every one of them. Anyway, let's go back out here and explore the rest of the side because I didn't really do that in the last part. There's a lot of dialogue to go through, a lot of intros, you get what I'm saying here. Hey Goomba, how's it going? Listen, this is a huge secret, but I gotta tell someone. I'm a wanted Goomba. I was a thief in another town up until about three months ago. Yeah, a good one. But then the heat came down and I needed to hide out, so I came to Rogueport. Now that I told you, you gotta keep it a secret, okay? <laughs> I'm so sly. Uh, I, I don't really think you should tell people that in all honesty. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go chat with the people out in this portion of town. Yeah, starting with you! You look like you don't know you you don't know nothing. So I'll teach you something. How about that? If you press R, you can well I mean wait, is that R? Yeah, I think that's R. It looks like the coloration of the Z button kind of. You can check your current HP. I can't believe you didn't know that. If you have low HP, you ought to go rest in the inn so you can recover. So you recover. Use your head. So yeah. Right. Now there's a Z button. It looked like there was an R on that. I don't know why it looked like. Eh, I don't know. Probably the bad cable connection. Well, I don't want to say bad. Bad. Ah, bad cable connection. It's the. Uh, uh, cables that I use. They're good, but they're just not as high quality as other cables. Anyway, I'm looking for this guy who defrauded me with a fake credit card the other day. If you find that jerk, give him a wallop for me. And over here... It's another star piece. Oh yes. Two out of 100. Alright, let's go and check out this portion. You there. Professor Frankly? Actually, I think a guy by that name lives over on the east side. Just go east <clears throat> Just go east from here. As you enter the town with the harbor, just hang a right. So, uh, what about him? Did this guy steal something important from you or what? <laughs> Wait, did I talk to you before? Uh, yes I did, okay. He, did, he walks all over the place, that's why I was kind of unsure if I talked with him or not. Mousy! <laughs> you smell that? It smells like a profitable situation, yes indeedy! It looks like my star is finally starting to shine, not that it's any of your business. <laughs> and over here is a message board where you can find uh, news and whatnot. Pickpocketing on the rise, watch your wallet. And, whoops. And hey, pickpocketers, try not to get caught. <laughs> so it's actually warning you about pickpocketers and also telling pickpocketers to try to stay free. Anyway, you want I would recommend you go over here as well. Freeze! You two, not another step. Don't come this way. She's a very ornery lady. Some complete jerk just bumped into me and made me lose a contact lens. I'm looking for it right now, so don't you dare move! Alright, I won't move. You hear me? Whatever you do, do not move an inch! Not an inch, you hear? Okay, I'm not gonna move. Not gonna move. Find the contact lens. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Oh, I'm getting impatient. 
Oh, jeez, what have I done? Ah! Idiot! You stepped on it! My poor contact lens! I told you not to move! Don't your stupid ears work? What were you thinking? <laughs> this is your fault! Now I have to buy a new contact lens, but you're gonna pay for it! Compensate me, Mr. Clumsy! Mario was like, no! <laughs> Fine, if that's your plan, then here's mine, you wolf! I'm gonna block the gate to the west side until you bring me a new contact lens! I guess I can't get by. <laughs> no, look, I'm not letting you into the west fire tunnel until you buy me a new lens! Sorry, but end of story, I can't go anything without my contact lenses in. Ah! My rage is so hot right now, I could cook you with it! Alright, so anyway, go inside here and get... This is... Oh wait, this is her house, actually. Whoops, this isn't the, the thing that I am looking for. The thing that I'm looking for is here. There we go. I just want to set this up because this actually takes real time in order for it to work. Welcome. Yes, welcome to the Toad Brothers Bazaar. Yeah, what's that? Do you want a contact lens, you say? Hmm, wait just a moment. And they discuss it with silence. Gee, fella, I'm sorry, we don't have any in soccer right now. Tough luck, I know. I can special order one right away for you, but it'll take a while. Check back soon, okay? Okay. So anyway, this is the shop, and you can buy stuff like uh, stuff to recover your HP or flower points, uh, stuff to recover status, attacking enemies, uh, giving status effect to enemies. If for me, I think what I'm going to do is buy... Oh, all right. I forgot to talk to the other guy. He's going to give me a little tutorial as to the shop point system. Customers receive one shop point for each purchase they make. You with me so far? Save up for enough shop points. You can get for so get prizes, including some rare items. You'll find a list of prizes posted in any shop, so be sure to check it out. Basically, it's a universal point system. Uh, yeah, you don't have to explain it to me. <laughs> All right, so let's buy some stuff for the future. I would like to buy a few mushrooms, if you don't mind. Yeah, this will recover 5 HP. I'm going to buy two of these, and I'm going to buy some honey syrup as well. And it's also going to give me... Oh, I thought it was going to give me a tutorial for that. I, uh, I wonder if I should get one of these for, like, a clutch move. You can hold up the 10 items. And I, I don't want to max out my inventory, because I'm going to be collecting stuff along the way as well. So I'm just going to grab one of those and... Uh, um, and there's also a storage place here in case you uh, have, uh, like if you have too many items in your inventory, you can have him store stuff. And this is also universal and you can pick them up in any store. Um, just checking points, I should have four, yeah. And over here is the point system. This is the stuff you get for free once you reach so and so many points. That takes forever to do, but it's not necessary for 100% anyway. <laughs> So let's just, uh, yeah, skip that for now. Oh wait, oh, wait I should probably go up, uh, go through the inn here as well. Let's go in the inn then. Oi! I used to sail around and run wild in my younger days, but I'm a reformed sailor now. I used to go around exploring all over the place. Maybe I should be saying this in a pirate voice or something like that. Or all over the place without giving it much thoughts. Okay, that's better. <laughs> yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Can't you take a hint, pal? Dot 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 means scram! Don't talk to me! <laughs> Hello there. Ah, what are you doing? Snivy up on a person that he sings most jovially? <clears throat> I, I know I mispronounced that, <laughs> just, just forget it. Who, me? You ask about. Ah, uh, I am called Flavio. I am, how do you say, a traitor, the richest man in Roadport. Okay, remember him later. Uh, bartend. Bartender guy. Welcome, you and yours. Have a seat. This is Podley's Place, the humble little cola shop where folks mix stories and drinks. By the by, here's an, there's an inn upstairs. When you're weary, go up and relax. Uh, when you go sleep at an inn, uh, it'll recover all of your stats, so that's quite handy. This one doesn't look like too good of an inn, though. It's kind of leaky. Well, I suppose any inn is a okay inn, as long as the beds are good enough. <laughs> 
Welcome to, well, I mean, welcome to the long refuge in this port of filthiness. <laughs> Our beds will soothe your soul. It will only cost five coins to spend the night. No thanks. I'll 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 show how to, I mean I'll show them more about the inns later. I mean, you know, like waking up and stuff like that, I guess. But I don't wanna waste coins at the moment. This is the early game and yeah. Oh, where in the world could the princess have gotten to? This is quite troubling indeed. Hmm, indeed. Anyway, I'm gonna go up here. There's a second story. And over here is the lovely... Oh. It's not open yet. Never mind what I said. <laughs> huh? Oh, oh, oh. See that? See that little shimmer? It's a star piece! Yeah! And if you drop off back here, you end up back by the guy who told that he was a thief in another town. Okay, anyway. Let's go back over to the right side of town and check that place out. And over here, it's kind of hard to tell. But notice there's something odd about this brick wall. You see that? Oh! <laughs> hey, I'm pulling another car trick today and making a ton of loot. But somebody started tail <clears throat> tailing me, so I came here to hide out for a while. Don't tell anyone you saw me here. Oh, I'll bonk you! Well, okay. And over here is Darkly. Hey, my name is Darkly. I like dim places. And now I'm done talking for now. Okay. <laughs> um, over here. Oh, no, wait, it's not over here. It's actually back here. Sorry about that. Another star piece! Yes! I believe that's all the star pieces you can get right now. So I can move on with the story, and actually, wait, I'll chat with the people here. Hey, you big old rube, it ain't smart talking to people you don't know. You never know when a guy might go nuts and attack. Be careful, live longer. Man, this town is uh, quite the place, huh? Can I go in here? Yes, I can go in here. I thought this was open later. To power up your partner, talk to me from the other side of the table. I can't actually do this now without some stuff. Welcome to the home of Merlin, the super magician. I foresaw your arrival. I can aid you, if you wish. With three shine sprites, I can power up your partners. Of course, that means I boost their attack power, but I also throw in a new move for free. So what partner would you like me to power up? Huh? You don't have enough shine sprites. Be gone. Come back with more. Uh, okay, I'll just leave you. <laughs> so yeah, we need shine sprites to do that. We haven't found the single one yet, and I do not recommend you battle this guy. But you can talk to them. Whoa, 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 hold up now. You're an outsider. Past this point is the turf of Ishnail, head of the Robos. It's ten coins to pass through. You try to pass without paying, and I'm afraid I'll have to whip you, but good. Uh, I'm not, I'm actually not gonna go through there right now, so I'm just gonna, yeah. And you can actually fight him and get through there for free, but I do not recommend that this early in the game, he will destroy you. <laughs> He's a lot stronger than he looks. Anyway, to progress with the game story, we can go in here. I just wanted to do the collection stuff as well as exploring the town. Oh, hi. There you are, Professor Frankly. Who's there? Who's there? Who wants me? Ah, yes, you. Now you, uh, uh I've seen your face before. Yes, that face. Wait for it. Just a moment. Don't tell me now. Silence. I'll get it right. Um... It's not Goombriel, it's not Eliza Goom. Uh, uh, I've got it! You're Goombella, aren't you? You were in my archaeology class yes last year, am I right? Oh, yes, sir, that's me. I'm Goombella, I'm junior at you, Goom. Go Goombas! <laughs> Of course I remember you. Not to toot my horn, but I'm pretty good at remembering. <coughs> uh, you, though, you stick out in my mind because you were such an exceptional student. And that guy behind you is... Uh, mm, who? <laughs> he doesn't know Mario. Oh, I guess he doesn't follow the video game universe. Mario, Professor, he's Mario. You know, the famous one. Oh, my apologies. I'm such a bookworm. I haven't a clue about what's hip right now. <laughs> In any case, what sort of errand brings you to all the way to a place like this? We were hoping you could tell us about the legendary treasure said to be below Roadport. I thought that if anyone knew about it, you would, Professor Frankly. Of course I know about it. The reason I came here was to study that very subject. But why do tykes want to learn about the legendary treasure? 
You know that most say it's a little more than a fairy tale, don't you? Archaeologists and historians have to search for the truth in those fairy tales, though. Me, I believe the legendary treasure truly does exist, and I really want to find it. Good point. And well made. And that... Oh, uh, what? She didn't really present any evidence that... Oh, uh, well, I don't know. <laughs> in that case, I'll cooperate with you however I can. First of all, about the treasure, there are many mysteries surrounding it. Some say it's an infinitely vast treasure hoard, while others say it's a magical item. Some books say it's actually a monster, while still others claim it's an empty chest. So many different theories, obviously. It's impossible to find the truth among them. But all agree on one point. To find the treasure, one must have the Crystal Stars. In bold red letters. To find the treasure of yore, take the seven crystal stars to the thousand year door. You mean the crystal shards and the... I'm just shards. I'm just thinking of Kirby 64 for some reason. Crystal stars and that old saying that super elderly people passed out? <laughs> Indeed, the same. As the saying goes, if you want to find the legendary treasure, you must collect the seven crystal stars. Or shards. No! <laughs> Hold the magical map aloft before the entrance to the thousand year door. And when the stars light the way that leads us to the stones of yesterday, yeah. A lot of lore I read says that if this magical map is taken to the doorway, then it'll show where to find the crystal stars. Correct! And the thousand year door is supposedly here, deep beneath this town. Yet the critical piece of the map, magical map, is lost. If only we had that map. But we do have it, Professor! Or, well, not we exactly. Mario has the magical map. What? Really? You you actually have it? Could I just take a quick look at it if you don't mind? Eh, sure, why not? I'll just randomly trust people despite what the townsfolk have said. Astounding! This is it! The real thing! The one and only magical map! You son of a hero! You're great, fantastic, wonderful even! With this, uh, we can find the crystal stars just by holding this aloft before the legendary door. Right on, Professor. Good golly, what are we doing just sitting here then? Goombella, Mario, off we must go this instant. Let's take the magical map to the legendary door. Alright, let's go. And he's sort of joined our party here. Can I actually look around and check things right now? Nope, nothing to check right now. Okay, just wanted to see for the fun of it. And a little cutscene will happen. I bet you didn't know this rotten old thing came off, did you? <laughs> oh, geez, fourth wall break. <laughs> you better be careful how he does that or the universe could implode. We can use this pipe to get directly under the city streets. Come on, both of you, let's get moving. All right, let's do it. In the next part. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you then. I'm just gonna go save over here if you don't mind. It just sounds like a good idea. Yeah, there we go.